same and the same people. And uh, in two, just a short history. In 2017, I heard about this uh, um, about this cemetery from my Lithuanian colleagues, and then contact Slava and Sam, and we begin to collaborate. And then there have been several trips there. And before before the September of this year, I've been preparing uh, one. Alexander von Humboldt project, project in Schleswig uh, about those Western balls. Yeah, yes. Um, Slava told yeah. and it was a problem always because in 11th century, all those Western balls they have located, they've been in prehistory, surrounded by history, by um, Polish, Rus, Scandinavian principalities, and it was always a question how to put these people who've been surrounded by history into history, and I invented, uh, uh, not invented, and, and used. The pre-methods to clarify the datings of the sites, I used uh, JS, R power statistics, and C14 dating. And then when we met, I decided to use the same methods to clarify the dates and typology of this site. And then the story begins. So during this year, so on this picture, you, 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 you can see the primal investigate. So this table I draw, it, uh, all the people included into the pilot study about this site, which have started now, I mean in this year, and will go till June, when we, I hope, apply to, we'll make a DFG application and we go further with all the team. So the principal investigators are on this picture, and in, in, there, there are Martin Blue, Klaus Kanaboni, me, Slava Baranov, and uh, Phil Debak. So, and um, you can see the map. So, so it's uh, the big uh, round thing. It's uh, territory of the main. Where from the main influences? All the all the fibulas, all the finds come from the small dots. Is uh, Ostrov, and uh, the bigger scale are where from the other things like burial rites come. The other find other finds like kauri uh, muscles and so on. And uh, as Slava told you, so just one picture to show. All the fibulas are originated mostly from the Western Balls area, that means from the old tribes of uh, Prussians, Koronians, Calvians. But you know, other Baltic, other, East, uh, other people from, of East Baltic, uh, other Baltic tribe, they use those fibulas too. You know? And um, the interesting thing that there are two territories in the East Baltic region which are quite famous from the very beginning of the 11th century of the, because of the concentration of old tools imports. One was strictly connected to the old tools principalities like Novgorod, Pskov and so on, in uh, the local Daugava in Latvia. And another one, this, you know, this Amber Peninsula, today's Klingberg region of Russia, with a with huge amount of amber, was isolated, but had a huge concentration of imports from west and east, and, was, and there are some connections. And as I said, there's fibulas, and other stuff. So, and another point, uh, there are the inhumations with enough an orientation. So, all those territories, they have more or less those kind of graves. So, um, uh, so we decided to try to check all the cultures you can see here, so in this list. So, the, the blue one are the most suspicious. So, now we hope that those people are came from here, but they could come from the red, territories and from the blue ones too. So how to prove it? How to connect those people? So the Balts and Kievan Rus, is this a match? So the first, the first point to connect is chronology, of course. The relative one, typology, and you know, typology is good, but quite intuitive, and, and uh, I don't believe it, I don't believe it to it very much, but the last results of my personal project of dating uh, the, Bol the Western Bolt stuff with C14 gave quite reliable and uh, synchronous and systematic results. So I decided to, to try the same with the Ostrov data, data. So, and there are some examples. Now we do dating in the Kiel Labor with Christian Hammond, he is in, in the list here. And, there's, uh, and um, unfortunately, the EAA is not in the middle of September because I've got, I wrote the guides in Kiel into the ancient DNA Labor and to the stable uh, isotopes and C14 labor, and they told that, Roman, the, the things are in sequence, and the results coming next week, really. So next, uh, in, next conference in Ukraine in November, we will have everything. So now we have only one date. So just imagine two graves, two graves with the same fibulas, one cremation from Vishwil, um, 
uh, at the lower Neiman. And the second one is the Ostrov grape number number two. So and this grape and, and and if to suppose just to imagine that those people came because that's very interesting thing about those people, uh, they stopped to bury their deceased around year 10, 10, 1020, 1040. They disappear and then appear again in one hundred fifty years when the Germans came. So but maybe we haven't learned to find the, the cemeteries better. So we can see that this date ends, that's a combination of the date of textile and the burned bone, ends on year to, uh, 1020. And the year of Ostrov in Ukraine, Ukraine accurately, I don't know, I, I, I haven't made it in Photoshop, I just got it. And the date, and the Ostrov dates begins slightly where the date, the, the West Baltic date ends. So we have terminus post square. That gave, that gave us some additional ground to get some money and now so just to show it again, how, how, how it works in the picture. And now uh, there are 10 samples in Labor and more than 30 from five East Baltic cultures. And so in one week, we will have all the results to compare and to, sh and to show are they connected or not. Then uh, the physical anthropology we do with Ukrainian colleagues and Lithuanians and Latvians one. They are in the list and marked by red. So we are um, uh, and um, the ancient DNA study. So we, we are taking parts through the bones and do it in a, in a kill labor. So to study the diet stable isotopes for diet and some composition of DNA to compare the people from five uh, East uh, Baltic regional cultures and Ostrov. There's a problem that the most of the Boston to Western Bolts use cremation now. So we compare the people who've been using inhumation and who've been living on the on the border between Eastern and Western Balts. For example, Semigallians. Semigallians, the people who use the uh, inhumation, there's nothing orientation, but they had a lot of Coronian stuff, Coronian feeble, so just to check. So and it's very hard to wait, because just one week and we will have the results. The step four is the metal composition analysis. Because um, there are a lot of Western, Western Baltic stuff from Königsberg to this Leningrad, which is stored in uh, Berlin Museum, and the new things of, from Austria. So, and we will take 10 samples from each collection for the same type fibulous, and we'll compare them in October with the uh, iron beam in Kiel Labo with uh, Mr. Kinle. Then the next step, not marked here, but just, just to conclude, is to make the geophysical prospection with the Kiel University team and Dr. Wabel and Olga Manigde from Ukrainian side. First of all, to check the composition of uh, settlement nearby the cemetery, and then if we will succeed, you see, then we apply to DFG, and we, if we succeed about the DFG and a lot of money, we will try to check every, uh, every from 15, let's say, if it will be possible, um, hill forts on the, for the, to, to, to check, to try to, to find, is there is the center like, they, like that on the other shore of the river? And then, and then maybe we will have results not only like that, but as Slava told, that Ostrov is connected to the much wider Viken, the late Viken Age horizon of Europe, and, and maybe and then, then after we will find connections to the much wider context of Europe, like, you know, Heidegger and so on. So very, thank you very much for your kind attention.